the AD. Um, great to be back in southern Indiana. Um, it's kind of the epicenter of Indiana basketball and look forward to talking to the folks about basketball and what went on this last season, which is, which is pretty good across the board in athletics. So I'd be happy to answer any uh, questions you guys might have. Has it translated in any uh, tangible ways in terms of uh, more demand for tickets, um, donations, things like that, what, what the team did last year? Basketball-wise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Hoosier Nation's excited, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a hot ticket and a lot, of, a lot of interest in that. And then, fortunately, it's uh, cut across the whole program. You know, there's been a lot of interest in football. We've already sold as many season football tickets to this point this year as we did all of last year. Um, and we're one of only 10 programs in the country that had uh, a football team go to a bowl game and both men's and women's basketball teams qualify for the NCAAs. It's only the second time it's happened in IU history. So we feel like we've got some momentum across the department and it is translating into fan interest. Any updates on the assembly hall renovations and how that's come along? Yeah, I was just over there today. It's really cool. Um, I don't want to oversell it, but I'm not sure you can. I, I think it's going to be something our fans are really excited about. It's a very uh, fan-centered renovation. So, you know, uh, comforts of home like concession stands and restrooms are almost doubling the number of uh, restrooms. All the restrooms will be um, will be uh, remodeled. The grand new entryway will be a wow um, piece, giant LED screens. We'll be incorporating um, some uh, historic pieces of former venues into the building. Um, so I think it's going to be something that our fans will really uh, be excited about, including a brand new gigantic jumbotron uh, replacing all the non-bleacher seats. Sometimes I would think those uh, kind of permeable seats and what grossness had seeped into them over the last 40 years, those are all out. Um, so I think from top to bottom, it'll be a great experience for our fans. And that'll be done when? October that'll 1st? be that'll be uh, done this fall, and I don't know if we've announced it yet, but uh, the, uh, the, the uh, dedication will be on October 14th with homecoming weekend for football. Do you like how the non-conference basketball schedule is starting to come together? Yeah, I think uh, we'll find out where we are uh, fairly early. So I think our fans will enjoy the, the competition and, and who we're playing. And um, um, I'm excited about that. You know, we want to we run with the big dogs, and that's what we'll be doing. Coming off a Big Ten title season, how do you measure success you know, in a repeat effort? Yeah, well, you know, we, we sort of staked out success a couple years ago that we want to perennially contend for Big Ten championships, um, and we want to go deep in the tournament and, and ultimately contend for national championships. And and uh, last year, I think certainly by that measure, it was a successful year. Uh, second outright Big Ten championship um, in four years. Um, we beat a Kentucky team that a lot of people were picking as a dark horse to win it all. And then a really good North Carolina team had to play really, really well in my view, uh, uh, to beat us. So I, I think we're there with the with the programs that are that are um, you know legitimately competing for national championships, and um, I think we're continuing in a positive trajectory that way. This is an issue question, um, but I know there's some concern about all the transfers now going on in all college sports, particularly basketball and, and football. Um, is there anything that, that, that can be done to to address that, or, and what, what could you be? What could you do? Well, you know, um, it's, I guess I'm enough of a lawyer that I see both sides of the issue. And, and on the one hand, I think an uh, environment where it's pure free agency and everybody's moving around is probably uh, impacts negatively on the game. Um, on the other hand, I think um, um, more uh, student-athlete freedom to make choices is, is, is the direction that we ought to be generally going. Uh, and I think the, the days, at least in Indiana, uh, of, of limiting choice of kids or, or writing off schools they can go to, I think, are, are gone and, and ought to be gone. So, you know, I think it's a balance, but I tend to uh, err on the side of giving uh, more choice and more freedom to the students themselves. And what about, in particular, the senior transfers? Where, you know, the, the instant eligibility, that, that type thing, is that, is that a good thing? Would you like it to go away, or are you just embrace it? And obviously, it worked with, with Max. Right. Well, again, I get the downside of it, the free agency concept and all that. But, you know, if a kid graduates, that's kind of what we want him to do. And I think they've kind of earned their right to move around, especially if a university um, decides they don't want to continue to pay for their education. So in, in cases where institutions have said, you know, love you, but we're not going to extend your grant and aid, I, I think all bets ought to be off. The kids should be able to do whatever they want. Maybe if the institutions continue to stand behind the kid and say the grant of aid will extend, maybe there should be some um, uh, more hoops. You know, that, that might make sense. But I think generally uh, when a kid's graduated, um, they, ought to have, they ought to get the fruits of their labor. 
about Thomas's decision to come back. Were you surprised by that? Thomas's? Not e yeah, not even to, sh to, to test the uh, – everybody else seemed to go to the combine in Chicago. He was yeah. one of the few that didn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, a, li a little bit, yeah. I, I, I think I was. But um, he's just such a great kid, and I think he's really enjoying the college experience. And I think that's a very mature decision to say, you know what, it doesn't really matter what's going on over here. I like – I like where I am here and now, and I, and I think it's, uh, um, you know, can be rare for people that have options or could have options to make a decision that, no, college is a kind of a once-in-a-lifetime deal. I'm going to take another lap around the track, you know, kind of an Andrew Luck kind of thing. Um, uh, I, I, I think that's, that's, a, that's a good decision. On the other hand, if, if a young person wants to go out and do that, I don't begrudge them that. You know, I think what's, in my view, what's good for the students is good for us. And I'd rather them choose to come back than somehow be kind of pushed to do that or be, have it be a default uh, decision. Anything else? Thanks, Fred. Right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.